Welcome to week eight, you made it to February 25th through March 1st. Uh, first of all, you will notice that we have some more information for you in the week eight folder. So if you go to the unit three literature review tab, you will find a, a bunch of folders. Go scroll down to week eight. Um, this is where we're focusing on writing the rough draft of the LRE this week. So you will see first under the tab there are directions for composing the LRE rough draft. If you have already done all of your synthesis and analysis and summary paragraphs, essentially you're just putting them together, putting bookends on, a conclusion and introduction, some connecting words, and you've got your rough draft. Your thesis statement and mapping par paragraph directions are also listed under the week 8 folder. And there are some more directions in the APA format. Now, one set of directions gives you the layout for the APA paper. You are required to do the LRE in APA format. This is really important that you're following the format. You don't want to mix up MLA and APA. You want to stick to APA. You will also see a list of peer review questions because you will be peer reviewing each other's papers later in the week. And there's also the literature review and weaving doc document. And this basically goes through how the different parts of the LRE connect and weave together. Um, it's about a four-page document, but it's really important to understand how to conduct and construct these paragraphs so that you actually have an LRE. So I would definitely check that out. Then there is actually the LRE-specific format in APA. So there's another document that kind of gives you the layout of what to do on each page just for the LRE. The first document talks about APA format, not specific to the LRE. This one kind of points out the things that should be in the LRE. And last but not least, the LRE grading criteria. Um, I have posted this before, but I want to make sure you can see this easily and get to it and know exactly how you will be assessed when you go to do your final copy. So for this week to begin with, you might want to listen. Um, review the APA lecture and the LRE lecture, and you'll find these directly under the Unit 3 Literature Review tab. If you scroll all the way down, past the different folders, you will see all of these different things there. Just a nice, nice way to review. Start off with that so it's all fresh in your mind. Then you want to write your rough draft for the LRE. Um, please post your rough draft to the discussion board by Wednesday, February 27th at 5 o'clock p.m. And this may seem really rushed because it seems like we were just constructing individual paragraphs. But the reason we're doing this is so you can kind of get a good head start on this before you go off to spring break, which is happening next week. So, again, good idea. Get this going, get a good start on it, and get some feedback. So once your rough draft is posted by Wednesday, conduct a peer review of the two students whose names appear below yours by Friday at 5 o'clock. And again, the format for how to conduct the peer review can be found in the Week 8 folder. Um, if you want to just copy and paste that into a document and then just reply to your peer's paper, that's a great way to start it. Um, but you know, please make sure you take care of that by Friday at 5 o'clock. And there will be a journal this week, um, again, due by Friday at 5 o'clock. Um, just send me an update on how you feel you are progressing on the LRE. Um, questions you have, concerns you have, things that you're struggling with. You know, anything I can help you with or just, you know, kind of give me a little update on your progress. And the proposal essay, um, the revisions, we are going to work on those this week as well. So the idea is if you plan to revise and you've all received your grades by now, um, send me a revision plan by Tuesday, February 26th at 5 o'clock p.m. This could simply be an email saying, okay, I noticed that I didn't have any organization, um, my documentation was incorrect. You know, I plan to fix this, this, and that, um, and you're going to send that to me in an email. I would definitely make sure that you address all the things you plan to correct in your next draft, because I look at that as I begin to assess your next draft. Um, bare minimum, you must look at the T-chart so you know where to begin. The T-chart has pluses and minuses. Anything in the minus section is an area for improvement, and definitely I you know, need to see that part addressed in every time you do a revision if you want any points back. Um, if you're not touching anything on the T-chart in that column, then I really can't give you points for doing a revision because I'm you know, kind of pointing out to you the major things that need to be done. Um, as you did last time, please color code your revised portions. So when you change, anything you change for thesis, if you could highlight it in blue. Um, anything that you change for development or support, please highlight in yellow. Um, anything you've developed, um, change in documentation, please highlight that section in orange. 
and anything that you added or changed for organizational structure. Please highlight that in pink. That way I can easily spot the changes you've made and compare it to your original draft. And last but not least, happy spring break next week. March 4th through the 8th, you are on spring break. Doesn't feel like spring, but you will hopefully enjoy that time away from school. So looking ahead, after the week you come back, um, the final draft of the LRE is due on March 15th. So if you feel like you want to work on it over spring break, just to get a little bit ahead, you know, I'm not going to stop you. But you do have that week off. You know, we will not be conducting anything online that week. So that's it for the week. Um, I hope you have a good week. And again, if you always, if you have any questions, please send me an email. I'd be happy to help you.